Hi, I'm Beth from the Spartanburg Soil and Water Conservation District. Last week we looked into some factors that might help us decide where we want to plant things in our garden and what we might want to plant. We still have a little bit of time before our frost date, so now it's time to grab paper and pencil and try to lay out our garden. One of the first things we want to do is decide on our goal. Here at the Soil and Water Conservation District, we have decided that we would like to grow vegetables right alongside with some pollinator attracting plants. So we're going to put our garden together in that way. Some of our pollinator plants tend to be perennials, and so we have decided to put them in the middle of our plots, kind of in the center area where they can stay and not be disturbed, but not be in our way when we're trying to harvest our vegetables. We've also left some space around the edges for the plants that we are going to be harvesting so we can get to them and change them out every year. They're going to be more on the annual side. The tomatoes we've put on the outside so that they're not blocking our path and our access to some of the other plants that we'd like to be able to harvest in that area. We've got shorter plants like parsley and dill that are in the front of taller plants like the yarrow and cone flowers. The plants that we tend to harvest are opposite of each other right by the path, so we can just have an easy time getting to those. I've also left a TBD plot or a to be determined. Um, it's not a lot of space, but it's there for those plants that I just can't leave behind when I go to the nursery or some seeds that I'd like to give a try. I hope you have a great time experimenting with your garden on graph paper. Even though we get it laid out, we know it probably won't look like that in real life. These plants need a little bit of space to grow, especially any perennials that we're putting in. If you've noticed our garden plot, it's set up in squares. We'll talk a little bit more about square foot gardening later.